I understand I've been inducted into the National Wrestling Hall of Fame. Hmm. I don't know that I would call what I did wrestling. Not the way that you all know it anyway. No, I think the proper word in modern vernacular would be brawling. <laughs> I'll bet you didn't know the 16th president of the USA was a regular brawler. I was blessed with the reach and height you would expect from a man of my size. It was an unfortunate pairing for my opponents. Uh, my long limbs led me to some 300 victories. Uh, the numbers fade from mind after a while, but not the feeling of the win. In all my 12 years in the sport, I suffered only one loss. Tough son of a gun. It was the rail splitting all through my youth that muscled up my arms nicely and gave me a good swing. By the time I was 21, I was the wrestling champion in my little pocket of Illinois. The legend spread of the six foot three Abe Lincoln, the toughest wrestler around. It got me into trouble more than once. I recall one such occasion. I couldn't have been more than 22 uh, when I had a run-in with a group of rascals who called themselves the Clary Groves Boys. Uh, Jack Armstrong was their leader. He wanted to prove he was tougher than me, and he came close. I gave him a few good hits, and when the rest of the crew saw their leader falter, they rushed in to help. Now, I'll admit to being competitive, but no one could ever call me a bad sport. I just laughed and doubled my efforts to use all the lean length of my limbs to my advantage, tossing the men as they came at me. Whether out of respect for my talent, or an inability not to laugh alongside me, the Clary Groves boys became dear friends through that wrestling bout. Other than my physical ability, what made me good at wrestling was my ability to observe and discern an opponent's weakness. It was a talent that served me well through my time as president. A divided Congress slowed my work to abolish slavery considerably. Our meetings often resolved into shouting matches between two parties that were not only divided by a core belief, but also by a war for which their own people were dying. Two opponents, each unwilling to bend or sacrifice before the other, it broke my heart, raised my voice, and wrinkled my brow. But alongside my cabinet and many brave congressmen, I wrestled it out of them. The reunification of the Union, the end to a war between brothers, the Emancipation Proclamation, and the beginning of freedom for all men. Abraham Lincoln, the wrestler. An American icon, an American hero, an American life. Only from 7K.